Today we battle rhyme style with battles of chaos. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we are getting a revenge on rhyme style. We're finally gonna beat him in a box battle and also we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two cards. We have a Mystical Space Typhoon and a First Edition Torrential Tribute. Yeah, First Edition. That's probably a pretty nice card. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know, can we beat Rhyme Style in a battle? Who knows? All right, let's get into the opening. We will be opening Battles of Chaos because Rhyme Style was like, you know what? He already pulled the Dark Magician right off the bat, of course, because he always does. He was like, you know what? I need to pull the Starlight. I think he wanted the Illusion of Chaos or something. So I'm going to battle Ruxin. And you know what happens when you battle me? You get whatever card you want. He told me that when he was about to battle me, or he was when he was recording his video, I should say, he was going to uh, ask me to battle him with like his last two boxes, and then he just decided to open them, and he pulled the Dark Magician. So just mentioning battling me means you pull whatever you want. So today, we are hoping that we get another Starlight, another Dark Magician, because I want to get the Dark Magician that's, you know, not damaged. Because I checked, and you guys were right on the live stream. It was damaged. My last one that I thought wasn't damaged, it was just damaged in a different spot. So four out of five are damaged. One of them is um, off-center. So they're all messed up in some way. So the goal today is to pull something good. So we want to pull the Dark Magician, a Starlight, since I have pulled pretty much everything in this set at this point, because we did a lot of epic live streams. If you guys missed those, you can go check those out. We got an Ultra Rare right off the bat. Very good start. And if we do pull like a Centered Starlight or Dark Magician, that will be going in a PSA video coming up soon. So hopefully that will happen and we can do that for you guys and we can send them in a PSA, hopefully get a 10. Libra Mancer Firestarter Tour Ride, very cool. It's been a while since we've done a battle video, so if you guys want to see these more often, let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to see more Master Duel with Rhyme Style, let me know and I can get him to uh, duel me again like we did in that other video, which was pretty fun. The Dictator of D. On to the next one. We have Battles of Chaos. Here we go. Let's go. We have Neroy, Epsilon, Kaiza, Noru. Oh, oh, there's the secret rare. Dinomorphia Domain. This is not the worst secret rare, but it's not great. I think it's around like six bucks last time I saw. It's pretty decent um, for this set because there's not a ton of valuable cards in here. But uh, yeah, not great. So like, definitely not going to cover our box value. Definitely not going to help too much in the battle. So let's see what else we can get. Hopefully that's not it. Hopefully we'll get like uh, the Illusion of Chaos, I think, is the best secret rare. All right, next pack. Can we pull the cover card? That's a pretty cool card that only comes in Ultra, which is a little bit weird for the cover card. Leaf Place. Soul and Luna. Another Ultra Rare. Very, very cool. But, uh, you know, I don't think that's too great. A lot of the Ultra Rares are under a dollar, which is not great. So there's a few Ultras like the Fluendere's Map. Or, no, not the Map. That's a different card. Fluendere's Ultra is very good. Okay, the White Relic of Dogmatic. I think it's like still like $14, which is pretty insane for an Ultra Rare out of a new set. But... That's why we're hoping to get that one, since you do get four. Oh, look, damage cards again. Great. End of the line. Branded Disciple. Nauru. Ice Jade. Yeah, one of these boxes I'm opening is, like, dented, so probably a good chance that we pull some more damage cards out of that one, so hopefully it doesn't have anything too crazy in the damage packs. Let's keep going. We have Ghost Trick. Diddy Griffin. Very cool. Next pack of Battles of Chaos. Please give us something amazing. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, I had to, I had to see it right away. Look how bad that is. That is so bad. They got to fix this. Oh, my goodness. Blood Tyrant Dragon. That's awesome. This is, like, really, really bad. Just, like, the worst decision Konami's ever made. Why in the world would you put the Dark Magician, which is, like, the kind of... It's basically the draw of the set. It's why people are opening it. They want the Dark Magician, even though it's not... All right, that's a good start for the battle. Illusion of Chaos, the 40... One dollar secret rare last I checked. Pretty nice. I do have my playset and starlights, so I'm probably gonna end up selling that one. If you guys are looking for them, they'll be on my TCG player store. But back to what I was talking about. Just the worst thing Konami I think has done is not the worst. I mean, they've done a lot of bad stuff. Let's be honest. But it's just a just a bad decision. Like, why would you put? They put the Dark Magician in this set to draw people in and be like, oh look, it's a throwback. It's a new art. It's really cool. You guys should go buy this set. It's gonna be really awesome. Magic Rebo, very cool. So uh, go check this out. Get this Dark Magician, you know? There's all this hype about it being 1 in 6. I was part of it. Turns out it was like 1 in 2-ish, 1 in 1, something like that. Somewhere between there. And uh, not only that, it turns out that you uh, basically get a damage one every time. Vampire Ghost, very cool. Unless you're Rhyme Style, who gets literally everything perfect every time somehow. I mean, literally 4 out of 5 of the ones that I pulled were damaged. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense why they would do that. With how bad their quality control has been, I think that they definitely didn't think about that too much. I mean, they definitely didn't think, oh, maybe it'll get damaged in the back. 
I guess they were trying to be fun. I mean, the, the idea is cool. The fact that you can get a, a Secret Rare or a Starlight and you could get the Dark Magician in the same pack, I really like that. I think that's a great idea. But I think you need to put it like one card away, so that's not going to get damaged. It's still in the middle of the pack. Dark Dimension, very cool. So hopefully in the future, if they do something like this again, they will hear the criticism slash feedback really is what I want to think of. I'm not trying to super criticize Konami for, I mean, mistakes are made and stuff. I mean, they do it a lot, but... I think this is like a first time they've tried it, and I think they'll realize, okay, that was kind of a bad idea. It was cool to throw this extra card in there, but I like that it didn't take up the hollow slot, and they'll hear that probably, hopefully, and not, you know, just throw it back in the hollow slot. And, uh, you know, just not put it in the bag next time, because it is just crazy. Vision with the eyes of blue, very cool. Because, yeah, it just, when you're searching for a card and you pull... You're so excited. Oh, I just pulled the card that I've been looking for. I, I've opened uh, 20, 12 boxes, 20 boxes, one, even one box, you know, and you pull that card. You're like, oh, this is so exciting. And guess what? It's already damaged. But like literally out of the pack, you get something damaged. There's no worse feeling than pulling something you're really excited about and then realizing that it's damaged and that it's not in the condition of like a pack fresh card or anything. So it's a little bit upsetting, I'm sure, for the people. Like, I'm not like overly upset, but it would be nice if they weren't like, you know, dinged every time. All right, next box, we are doing three boxes versus rhyme style. So far, we've already gotten an illusion of chaos. That's a good start for this case, so I'm liking it. This is the damage box, so we'll see if any of these are, you know, damaged on the bottom corner. Looks like, wow, that one might be. Let's see if this one is damaged. Like, I think it may be. Yep, there it is. A little bit. Okay, that's not good. Oh, uh, Libromancer and Dynamorphia Diplos. So, okay. Pretty weird set. I mean, it, this turned out to be, I think, a very cool nostalgic set. Geek Boy. Okay, that's not a great secret rare, but that's okay. I really like all the throwbacks to Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I think it's pretty fun. I think the only thing that we need in this sort of set is, like, when we do the throwbacks, for the people that care about the meta, there needs to be something, like, for them to actually open this set or care about this set for. But, you know, at... As a collector and as a guy who likes the nostalgia cards, I really like the set. I think it's really fun. And I think it's definitely not the worst set we've had in a while. There have been worse for sure. Uh, Dino Morphia again. We got the Fusion. Very cool. And a Mad Hacker. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the set. I know if you guys are collectors, you probably like the set. If you were not collectors, you probably didn't like the set. And I know a lot of people were worked up about the Dark Magician because it started so expensive and then it fell back down to like a hundred and something dollars. Which just makes sense. I mean, it's a new set. It happens a lot, but this was sort of a drastic fall compared to normal. And that was probably because a lot of people thought that it was a lot harder to pull than it really was. And then it came back down to, you know, realistic things. So one thing I like to remind or I want to continue to remind you is in the pre in the pre-sales, they're always going to come down. It doesn't matter if you have the ratios right, wrong. They're usually too high. And then if the ratios are not right, like in a newer card like this, when we were wrong about it being one in six, that's really going to hurt like the, the perception of it. And the perception is really important for people that are actually going to buy it. Because if they think, oh, wow, this card's really rare, then they might overspend or spend it too early when they shouldn't. So... I think that we need to be careful going forward, and I am I am included about talking about the ratios and stuff. I know a lot of people were upset or whatever that it was wrong, so I'm gonna do my best, you know, make sure that we're we're 100 sure next time. But uh, yeah, it was just you know it's just how it goes sometimes. Okay, white relic, very cool, very cool. But yeah, keep in mind, it doesn't matter what anybody says, including me. Like if I say like it's super hyped or whatever, uh, just try to maybe wait till after it comes out, and that'll probably do you well for like how much it actually costs. The ratios will come out and like not you won't necessarily know, but all the people that open the packs will realize, okay, this is more common than I thought it was. And then the price will go down. It's on Ice Jade Cosmo Chlor, very cool. And it'll kind of correct itself right off the bat. Those big cards like 10,000 Dragon and stuff, it takes a lot of people buying those to keep those really expensive at the very beginning. And then the scarcity will come around you know, in a few years, once people are like, okay, I can't just open 12 boxes of this from my local store and pull it or whatever, because it's no longer accessible. That's when the real rarity comes in with this kind of stuff. Uh, Kaiza, very cool. So, so far we've pulled two secrets. This hasn't been a very good one. The second box has been pretty rough. So we are trying to win this battle against Rhymestyle. I think right now we're doing okay. There's a good ultra rare. That's pro the most, that's more expensive than both these secret rares. So that's a very good one. Very good ultra rare. It looks like we're doing okay so far. I don't know what our really win condition is in terms of the uh, in terms of the battle. I don't know if we have to pull something crazy or if it's just based on the value. Let us know in the comments who you think won between me and Rhyme Style. There will be a link in the description to let you guys know who won this battle. Or, or so that you guys can check out his video and let me know and let him know who won.
I think he said, yeah, he said he opened three boxes, so I don't know if he just opens like got a Starlight or something. He never really told me until after he opened it, so if he gets like a Starlight rare, we're probably in trouble. If he doesn't, I think we are doing okay so far. Nothing too crazy. Ultimate Fusion. We've pulled one big secret rare, one big, the best ultra and the best secret, so that's nothing to be too, uh, too mad about. That's pretty good. We got an Epsilon. Dark Contract, very nice. Two more packs, and then we get into the final box, and hopefully can pull Dark Magician, a Starlight, something crazy. First appearance, okay, another Ultra Rare, very nice. And the final pack of the second box, we have the Sin Re and the Doll Master, Monster, Monster Master, whatever it's called. Final box, it is time to defeat Rhyme Style once and for all. We will crush him, we will pull amazing cards in this box. Also, I wanted to mention this Friday marks one year straight of YouTube daily uploads, and that includes like live streams as, as uploads, etc. So we've gone one year straight on Friday, which is insane. So I think we should do something pretty epic. If you guys agree and you want to see something epic, let me know in the comments. And on to the next pack. What shall we pull? We have the Noru. This guy again, really? Another Ice Jade. No! That's another bad one. Can we pull something good? Come on, baby. Yeah, and Ghosts from the Past coming out, guys. We are going to be opening tons of that set. Like, I don't know how much you guys want to see, but hopefully you want to see a lot because I'm getting a lot of that set. We're going to be doing live streams. We're going to be doing videos. It's going to be pretty awesome. Battles with Rhyme Style, probably. It's going to be insane. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, we've got that. So far, one secret rare. Can we get a Dark Magician? Can we? Oh, you Sartic? Uh, this has not been a good box so far. It's been pretty bad. On to Battles of Chaos here. We have the Noru, S Force, and Doll Monster. Okay. Let's go. Bless us with something amazing, guys. Vampire. No Dark Magician. Where is it? Come on. Give us one. Let us win the battle. Come on. Oh, that's a good secret rare. This is like a $17 card. This is like maybe the third best secret rare. Maybe it's the second best secret rare. It might actually be right behind the Illusion of Chaos. That's a good one. Okay. So we've gotten two secrets already. Is that right? Or is that... Maybe we've gotten two. Yeah. So maybe we'll get a third or we will get, you know, something actually crazy like a Starlight or a Dark Magician. We'll see. Or And we want to get that map, the Fluendere's map. We've actually pulled pretty... Master of Chaos, okay. This is turning out to be a pretty good opening. We've got the cover card. We've got the best secret, the best ultra, the second best secret. I don't know if we have the second best ultra. I don't know what the second best ultra is. Okay, Dark Dimensions, cool. I think Ice Jade is like the worst one. We pulled that twice, so that's kind of bad. <laughs> that's kind of bad, but that's still fun. Uh, Dark the Dark Charmer is a good super rare for sure. Still a few packs to go, guys. Can we get that Dark Magician once again? We've pulled a lot, but they're usually damaged, so I would love to pull a really nice one. Okay. Come on. Bless us with something crazy. Ice Jade. Oh, come on. Where is it? Come on. We got to beat Rhyme Style. I don't... We've beaten him like... Have we ever beaten him? Maybe... I think we beat him once. We beat him like one time. We lost like the first 10 battles we did against him. I think we beat him, and it was like almost by default. We're like, It wasn't even like... A beat down. It was like really close. Okay, very cool. Dynamorphia shell. Probably half a box left out of 72 packs. Can we get that dark magician? Ooh, Tamias the United Dragon. That's a good one. That's like a six dollar ultra rare, I think. This turned out to be a pretty good box for how it started. We got the worst secret rare. I was like, this is gonna be terrible. Then we pulled like the second best secret rare, and then a bunch of good ultras. So that's not bad at all. Dynamorphia, the fusion. Now we just need that Dark Magician to top it off, a Starlight Rare, something crazy like that. We've got Dark the Dark Charmer. Five more packs. Believe in the comments, guys. Let's go. Let's pull something good. We have Nordic Smith. Four more packs left in the battle. Can we do this? Can we win the battle? I mean, we're going to find out. I'm, I don't even know what he pulled, so I don't know. We won't know right now. I guess you guys will know. You guys can go check his video. I'll have to check it later. Here we go. Clear New World. Dictator of D. Two more packs. Two more chances. Add glory. Add redemption. Dynamorphia Kentragina. Kentragina. And the final pack of the opening. Bum, 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 bum. Dimension. End of line. Brandon Disciple. Nordic Relic. Okay, could be at the end. This could be it. Will it be the Dark Magician? 
No. All right, we didn't pull anything insane, but not a bad opening. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Go check out Rhyme Style's video in the link in the description. Shout out to TCG Trust, Guards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Spank McFarlane, G Raider, Daxter, Ian Musa, and Junior Barding. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.